Well, Kasumi's mission took a little longer than I like, but what can you do? It was sort of fun. Not sure how much benefit I'll derive from it, though. The Locust is pretty decent, but I don't mind the Shuriken. The Shuriken has pretty decent armor DPS at close range, anyway. Okay, double click on the fucking mass relay, please. Uh, keep mentioning stimulator conduits. I'm probably gonna buy them. I should have bought them a while ago. So let's just drop by Omega. I don't know if I'll talk to people after this. Zoom. Aim carefully with slow fire weapons like heavy pistols and sniper rifles. Each miss is a costly mistake. Okay. That's pretty accurate, really. I mean, <laughs> with the Carnifex especially, sort of with the Mantis, it's like, oh, we want the Mantis to not have any decent spare ammo. We want it to be so bad that the offhand ammo pack gives it zero clips. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. Yeah, that is good news, isn't it, Garrus? Uh, we have that data pad we could drop off to Arya as well. Don't really get much for that. She just gives you the location of an Eclipse cache, which you can waste time getting. It's like, sort of like a easter egg challenge or something. Pass their chest plates over there, I don't need that. I mean, it would be decent, but... I don't like it. Here, Garrus, let me just buy you sniper this rifle. Looks interesting. Damage. Where did you get that fantastic new visor? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Parents. Oh, I love that place! <laughs> oh, where'd you get that fantastic new visor? Commercials and radio stuff on in this game is pretty funny. A lot better than the depressing shit in Mass Effect 3. The news stories that are just one line. Why don't they ever go through the whole news story? Drop off that pad, might as well. I should talk to Dumb Jack and Garrus when I get back to the ship. Hey, Arya. What's up? What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. It's marked evidence real big on the top. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? <laughs> I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. Oh, we're are we going someplace private? On an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. Oh, I was thinking a little more. No something a little more personal. I to go to waste. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Oh yeah, you're so generous. Thank you. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? You look like you need to loosen up a little. Oh, Miranda, how about it? Let's go. Come on. Come on, Shepard. Uh, just need to do Warlord after this. But... I'm trying to think if there's anything on the Citadel worth buying. I don't think there's anything left there that I really need. Normandy. Zoom. Armor isn't just stylish. Actually, it is. Because that's the most important thing. Should have actually said that. So let's just cross out that last uh, phrase in there. Each piece you equip, blah, blah, blah. I should say, armor isn't just stylish, but style is the most important thing. Oh, we'll need to go to... 
thing. Research terminal to get AP sniper for Garrus. Even though I'm blowing a lot of money on that sniper rifle. Stuff. Hey, Jack. Hey. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Just show me what you got. Alright, so her biotic upgrade is plus 20% biotic damage, which isn't nearly as impressive as Morden since her only direct damage power is Shockwave, and that's kind of crappy. If it was a cooldown upgrade, that would be really ridiculous, especially with her passive, but got a lot of Ezo, so I'm just going to get it. And I just like Jack so much, I like to get her stuff. Hey. Obviously. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. Oh, you don't have an infatuation with Jacob? That's refreshing to hear. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. I told you that you could see them later. I get impatient. Bust someone out of prison, they'll probably take what they want. What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What, like a history book or something? What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. What's your, what are you gonna do with all those credits that you get? I won't let you go on a killing spree. Oh, killing spree. I'm here for okay. your mission. After that, what I do is my business. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm going to chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to it me. It isn't all that hard to find. You just walk down the stairs. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. Is that so? If I was a space pirate, would I need like some kind of special holographic eye patch and then maybe like a robotic parrot? You'd be my first mate. I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Sim oh wow, that logic is irrefutable. I should go. I've already got like the cybernetic leg, although I could use a cybernetic peg leg from, to complete the space pirate look. Maybe you get like a like a sawed off you widow the as your space peg leg. Fields. Fields. Then you could have some serious firepower yeah. from your leg. Shepard, need me for something? Yeah, sure. Tell me about your calibrations. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Oh, okay. Thanix cannon. Will it do a fuck ton of damage? Powerful enough to destroy a collector ship with repeated hits. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if that's a hint. I have 15,000 platinum. Damn you, Garrus. Can't you get me, like, a discount on it? Let me know when you've got the materials for me to upgrade our guns. Well, what if I give you an autograph from the guy who defeated Saren? <laughs> Can I get a discount in the main battery? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the Gavits. Yeah, me too. The inventory Saren. last Mercenary game was getting absurd. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. 
I wish we joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. What about punch bag? We were mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. And doesn't really I got sound three very lucrative. Bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. That is pretty impressive, Garrus, but not as impressive as it is me leaning on this post without actually leaning on it. Look at this. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I trained to become a specter after the Normandy was destroyed, but it didn't work out. Too much politicking at the Citadel. Nobody was willing to take risks. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Yeah, did you put a list uh, or a put a post on uh, Craigslist? You prove that you get things done and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents. The usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or yeah, not. Yeah, I don't believe that. Guy, Batarians are stupid, don't you know that? Ever built. Twelve squad members is pretty impressive, Garrus. I only had six on and two years ago. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega. But I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Right, well, don't calibrate too hard in there. Uh oh, Paragon points, that's not good. Yeah, it's a good thing he hasn't found Sedonis. Then he might ask me to help him, and you can't have that. So I gotta only do loyalty missions for wimpy squad mates. Armor, legs, stimulator conduits, storm speed, plus 10%. Well, that's good enough for now. Oh yeah, we need to swing by the tech lab. AP Sniper, plus 50%. Two armor. It's another 1.5 multiplier. So, what's going on? a minute to talk. Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Yeah, I know. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Yeah, I'm not limited calling your clinic a shithole or anything, but... Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, 
enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Did you nice. ever get to treat a pneumothorax with like a big pen or anything cool like that? I saw some stuff like that on vids, man. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Task Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Salarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth. You don't say. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. <laughs> Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. None taken, Morden. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here, if you need me. Oh, what? No, I'm just trying to run. Oh, wait, let me swing by here. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. Understood. But not everyone in the group is hardline. Is that right? I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. You watch me, I'll watch you. That suit you? <laughs> if you follow orders and keep to yourself, we'll have no problems. Fair enough, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. I don't need more spies spying on me. Oh yeah, roll your eyes. What the hell, man? I just want the renegade Commander, points, nothing personal. Can I help you with something? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top well, of the Well, you know, actually, the Turians told us that there was a trick with armor well, plating where if you coated the inner portion of the pressure hall with butter, it would be twice as strong, but it turns out they were lying. It was apparently an elaborate joke. Oh, heavy ship armor. That'll come in handy later, Jacob. Let me know when you want that, Commander. Yeah, okay, I totally will. We'll talk later. Commander. Uh, don't need to do anything else, probably. Oh, I see a blinking light, I think. Uh, hey, Shepard, heard I have you to thank for getting me out of purgatory. This is just some dumb guy named Billy. Well, need to go get the warlord soon.